DJ Omega here looking at the mobile rack I got some new gear here I'm entering the world of DMX lighting getting a new mix for the Denon DNX 500 nice thing that I like about this is it has individual channel levels As you can see over here nothing uh, which makes it real difficult to keep your, your audio levels the same. I'm actually gaining an extra space in my rack. This one's a little bit smaller, so I'm sure I'll fill it up with something. One thing that I like about this mixer that isn't on, well, a couple things I don't like that are on this mixer. A light. So I'll have to come up with something in my rack here to light up the top. I had like a gooseneck light that would come out and and let me see everything there. Next thing I don't like about the new mixer, but it's still going to be a big step up, is the mic inputs. There's two mic inputs here. The actual input to connect it is down underneath here, which makes it kind of difficult to switch in and out. Over here, you can see there's a mic right on top here. Still two mics. One is in the back, but one is easily accessible through the top here. So those are a couple things I'll have to get used to when switching over, but it'll definitely be a good change. And as soon as I get the lights up and running and things like that, I'll do some reviews on it. So if you guys have any questions about any of this gear, let me know and I'll shoot a video for you. Practice and enjoy.